fail. Uh, so I got a, so <laughs> I've got like a million comments. Well, I don't know a million, but at least a couple of dozen of people asking me to test six days of Fallujah. Uh, so at the moment it's on a sale, 15% off. Um, so I'm giving it a go. It's quite a heavy like sim shooter, quite kind of grounded in history and kind of the details of the the actual event back in uh, what, 2003. Uh, this one works, yeah, it works pretty well, I'd say. So, uh, native seems to be completely fine, um, especially in the daylight. Although you'll see me do a night mission later on, and um, yeah, some some kind of issues with the spotlights, but not not too bad. Um, I noticed I DLSS performance and changes to quality definitely helped. There was a lot of like checkerboarding of far away objects, which I was playing around with some of the settings to see if I could fix, but it was just DLSS. Um, you can see me um, playing with the attachments, but uh, I'll just disable that and go for uh, attaching the arms, which were, if you hear, it's just a skeletal mesh, character mesh, um, so relatively easy, I think. Um, we'd have to play around to see if it's that's the exact right one I should probably be attaching, because um, the project doesn't seem to match, but um, this is still honestly a very new feature uh, and Predal will probably be working on this, potentially it's going to get improved in the future, so watch this space, so you see me just um, aligning it, hiding the arms, even though the, the hand animations do look really cool. Um, I've literally never played this and <laughs> I'm not really paying attention to the tutorial, so I'm just kind of like, um, it feels pretty good because there's like the um, aim down slice is quite gentle um, and you can really get a good uh, view on it. Um, after playing things like Pavlov and stuff, which actually is a, a UE, UE game, it feels, feels familiar. <laughs> um, uh, it feels like, yeah, with some, some work, this could be quite a cool VR shooter. Um, I didn't actually know that much about this game, but seeing it, there's like a lot of procedural maps, it seems, as part of the kind of the features here, uh, which is pretty cool. Very like realistic um, gunplay, um, if you're into kind of the old Rainbow, Rainbow Six armor games, uh, stuff like that. But yeah, um, apologies if I'm terrible at this, I'm, <laughs> I just want to uh, satisfy everyone's curiosity about how this works. Um, but yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if someone works on Blueprint plugins for this, or... Um, actually, you don't see it because my eye, but I actually was looking down the, the sides of that. Um, yeah, I think I think this one would be quite good for some extra attention. Um, I think the game is in early access anyway, so uh, who knows if they add VR support down the line. Um, because this is kind of like a sim game, um, not entirely, entirely sure the projectiles were coming out when I first started. Another thing to note, the audio, the audio feels really good in VR. Um, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of a bad company, but this seems to have some very good audio mixing. Um, so yeah, it's a treat and yeah, relatively cheap on, on Steam.
out there.